When you log into your Celtic Studio, you may notice some changes. We've made updates to the ways in which you navigate through your project and collaborate with your teammates. In this video, we'll walk through some of the changes together. To get started, open up a Celtics project as normal. You'll notice that instead of going to the project menu, you'll be taken directly into your script. Rather than using a separate menu, you'll now use the new navigation menu to move around between sections in your project. You'll find this menu here. Clicking on any of the menu items will give you access to your various pre-production tools, such as catalog and schedule. If you don't see this menu on screen, click here to bring it back into view. When you're finished, clicking anywhere outside of the menu will hide it once again. At the top of the navigation menu, you'll notice a new section of your project called Team. Opening the Team page allows you to easily view all of the people who have been added as collaborators on your project. If you need to add a new person to the team, use the Share button here. You can enter their email as well as send a note to accompany the invite. The standard permission setting for sharing a project allows the team member to edit all documents. Now, there are more options available for you to create custom permission settings. To do that, click here. You can now choose which elements of a project you'd like the team member to see by clicking here. Using the drop-down menus, you can also set different types of access to each element, such as edit, read-only, or tagging. And that's it! Moving around your Celtics project and sharing it with your team is simpler than ever. If you or your team have further questions, please consult the Help Center.